Hello and welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to talk Bulldog soccer. And with us, head coach Greg Henson. Coach, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. I know, uh, kind of like volleyball and football. Uh, nice to be back at home for for homecoming weekend this past weekend. Yeah, it was great to get back. We had a long, you know, long couple weeks. We talked about last week, and uh, it was nice to get back on campus and and uh, in the midst of a five game home street uh, home stand now. So. Obviously, uh, you got a big win on Friday over Davenport and uh, able to finally uh, put, put some goals uh, in the net uh, and, and they really stacked up as you got a 6-0 to zero win. Yeah, it was nice. To, it was kind of the, you know, the tail of, of, of two halves, I think, over the weekend for, for both games. But on Friday, um, we really came out against Davenport on, on fire from the, from the opening whistle and uh, able to put away three kind of in quick succession uh, early in the match and then um, and just, uh, just stayed with it in the second half, and it carried over, and three more in the second half. So for a six-nothing win, and we were really happy to see a number of our players really get onto the the, the scoring column for the year. Uh, Kinsey Dawes got her first goal. Bree Rogers got her first two, and Peyton Price, one of our freshmen, got her first goal as well. So it was just nice to get some of those players that we're going to count on down the stretch uh, to get them uh, kind of tasting the uh, experience of putting the ball in the back of the net early this season. Go to some of the highlights uh, here uh, early on. Uh, how important is it to get the, that early goal and then uh, that, that quick start? How, how important is that? Yeah, it, it's really important. I mean, I think it's, it, it just kind of sets the t tempo for the game, um, allows us to, to kind of feel good about ourselves as we're going. And and uh, I think we had three, like an eight minutes, 10 minutes span or something like that in the first half. And it really kind of not only opens the game up, but also kind of puts the game to bat a little bit uh, early on. Obviously, after the break, it was really important for us to come on and get the next goal. Uh, not to give them any kind of uh, a thought of being able to get back into it. And I thought we did a nice job of that in the second half as well. Yeah, Noggle had two goals in the first half, and here in the second half, uh, we'll see Bree Rogers get a couple goals. Yeah, like I said earlier, that was, it's, it's huge for us to get some of the other players kind of on the board um, as we move through the season. And, and Bree had a nice uh, uh, rebound uh, that she found uh, found her foot um, uh, after a corner, and then uh, took the PK that we that we were awarded. And then uh, the last goal of the game was from Peyton Price, one of our freshmen, and. And uh, she's been doing a nice job for us. So glad to see her rewarded with uh, with a tally late in the game. Obviously, another strong defensive performance in net. Grace Craft uh, got the start and uh, finished uh, here with four saves. Is you, you really had the the big advantage in total shots. Yeah, I think it, it was. We kind of had them on their heels a little bit uh, in this match, and and just did a nice job of keeping possession and then controlling the pace of the game. And and uh, so Grace didn't have a whole lot to do, but she was there when uh, when called upon, and and we were able to get uh, another shutout on the season as well. So the penalty kick goal, and then uh, we'll see Peyton Price uh, get her first collegiate goal coming up right here. Yeah, so again, Peyton's been working really hard this year, um, you know, in the roles that we've put her into, and so just really proud to see, uh, happy for her to get that first goal of the game. 6 nothing win as you started off the weekend, and obviously this was a, a non-conference contest against a conference opponent, uh, as was Sundays against Ashland. Maybe talk about how, uh, how much of an adjustment that is. Uh, obviously, you'll see these teams later on in the year. Yeah, we see them in actually about two weeks. So I think uh, this weekend we've got uh, the, the the upper uh, the UP schools coming down, and then the weekend after we'll we'll be on the road and, and uh, we'll see Ashland again uh, for sure, and then Davenport a little bit after that. So um, I think it's just one of those situations where you know it's the next opponent on the schedule, so we're not really worried about the conference or the regional points and all that kind of stuff. We just want to make sure we're ready for that next opponent on the schedule, and obviously at this time of year. We're familiar with everybody, or the players are, I should say. I'm still getting to know everybody. It's the first time through the schedule. Um, but, um, you know, it's just one of those situations, whether it's conference, whether it's regional, you know, we just got to go out and be ready to play um, and, uh, and let the chips fall where they may from there. And Sunday's contest taking on a, a very good Ashland team and uh, not only having to, to battle the opponent, uh, you had some wet weather conditions as well. Yeah, the, the weather definitely played a role in this game, I think. But at the end of the day, both teams got to play in the same environment. And so we just came out a little bit flat. Um, Unfortunately, gave up a goal in the first three minutes of the game and, and didn't really settle in um, after that. And then the, the, the corner that they scored here off the set piece, um, it was just, like I said, kind of the tale of, of two different games. Uh, on Friday, I think we were hitting on all cylinders, and, and Sunday we came out flat, and, and mentality wasn't quite where we needed it to be. And, and against good teams, you make mistakes, they're going to make you pay. And, and really, we had three, uh, three mistakes that we made in the game, and, and they scored on all three of those. So. Um, the nice thing is, is again, we get to see them in a couple weeks, and, and I know the players will be looking forward to that rematch and, and an opportunity for us to, uh, to what we think is to set the, ta set the table right and, and, and kind of get back on the board and, and uh, to beat them at their place and return the favor. So we'll hopefully be able to do that uh, in a couple weeks' time. Down 2-0 at halftime. We'll see them get their uh, third goal here in the second half. But uh, credit your kids. Uh, certainly didn't didn't quit and uh, still had some opportunities here late. Yeah, I think at the end of the day, I think we outshot them over, overall. And so we had, a, you know, obviously we're chasing the game and, and trying to get it here. Just a little 
just a little bit of lack of organization on, on the set piece, unfortunately. Uh, we didn't have uh, people where we needed them to be and, and gave up that opportunity. But um, And then obviously chasing the game, pushing numbers forward. I think we were in a very, very attacking mindset at the end of the match and, and kind of throwing caution at the wind at that point once it's 3-0. And, and uh, just, just unable to, uh, Kinsey gets the goal here for her second of the year. Um, but unable to really string anything together from there. Had some more chances later on in the match, and, and, and unfortunately, just the game just didn't go the way we like it to. So, but in two weeks, we get a chance to, to, to go back and battle with their players. Three won the final, and obviously now uh, your kids uh, try to bounce back after that decision. And uh, two uh, tough opponents coming in this week with Northern Michigan and Michigan Tech. Yeah, so that, that's the whole deal, right? So it's, it's all about uh, facing adversity and how do we bounce back. And so that's what I'm after the game. I go, the, the most important thing right now is how do we respond from this? Uh, it's the first time that we've, we've been behind in the game. It was the first time we lost the game um, all season. And so, you know, it's, it's, we kind of get to learn how the other half lives a little bit. So now it's about how we respond and, and uh, who we are coming out of the gate next weekend. And, and we got two games at home, which is nice uh, to, to be able to, to, to be here on, uh, on, on the home field. And, and hopefully we will be ready for, for that match. And I have no doubt that we will be. Obviously, uh, you've been here a couple months now, uh, one month into the season. Maybe maybe talk about how your kids have kind of adapted to your style and uh, and how they've uh, built, bought in and, and built into your program. Yeah, I think after Friday, I would have said they, they bought in great. After Sunday, we got it, we're kind of back to the drawing board a little bit. But no, it's been good. And I think um, overall, they're a great group to work with, um, great group of players. And, and I'm very excited about what kind of the future holds for us and, and not only this season, but, but down the road. And and uh, and I really do feel like they've they've bought in and, and they're doing the things that we're asking them to do right now. Um, you're going to have games like you do on Sunday, and hopefully those are few and far between. Um, but like I said, it's it's to me it's not really about the result from Sunday. It's about what happens tomorrow when we get in the room together in the meeting room and, and in practice field, and, and how do we respond? And and that'll tell me a lot about the, the character of this group and where we're going to go this season. Finally here, uh, obviously going into conference play now, and you've seen a couple conference teams uh, here in non-conference matchups. What have you seen maybe out of the play in the GLIAC? Yeah, it's a very strong conference, and I knew that coming in. Um, obviously, you've got Grand Valley at the top of the, at the table, but, but overall, top to bottom, it's a very competitive, competitive conference, and, and we know it's going to be difficult. And our goal for our program from, from here on out is going to be to, to challenge to, and compete to win championships within the conference. And, uh, and I think that's something that's within our sights, but it's going to take um, you know, the right performances and, and, the, and the right bounces to go our way throughout the course of a season. Um, but it's something that I'm excited for us to get started in, in, uh, in that challenge. Well, Coach, congratulations again on the great start this year. And uh, best of luck as you host Northern Michigan on Friday, Michigan Tech on Sunday. Thank you very much. That'll do it for Ferris Sports Update. Follow all the action and get all the results online at ferrisstatebulldogs.com. Have a good day.